Let's look at some bond angles in lactic acid. Here's lactic acid, and the carbon, oxygen, hydrogen bond angle is of interest here. Is that 109 degrees, 120 degrees, or 180 degrees? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at possible explanations for each of the answers. A, oxygen has steric number 4, so sp3 hybrids with a 109 degree bond angle. B, oxygen must accommodate carbon, hydrogen, and electrons. Three orbitals, sp2, and 120 degree bond angle. Or C, the bond is linear, so the hybridization must be sp. Think about those three possible explanations and make another selection. We're looking at bond angles in lactic acid. So I've drawn out the Lewis dot structure for lactic acid. And when we draw Lewis dot structures, often for convenience, we'll just draw bonds at 90 degrees or 180 degrees. But remember, the Lewis dot structure isn't predictive about bond angles until you use it to get the steric numbers. So the steric number on oxygen here is 4. One carbon, one hydrogen, and two lone pairs. Oxygen has to accommodate four things a steric number of four, so that oxygen will sp3 hybridize, four orbitals, sp3 equivalent orbitals. They have a tetrahedral configuration. The bond angle nominally will be 109 degrees. This one might be a little smaller because the lone pairs could constrict that a little down to maybe 105 degrees, but near 109 degrees is the best approximation for that bond angle.